Yo guys, what is up? Welcome back to more Hour. Welcome back to another Pro 1v1 match. Today, here we are on Tournament Desert Classic and down in the south position. We have none other than Scuba himself with the Green China Tank. No doubt he chose this map, one of his favorite maps, or maybe his actual favorite map. All the way over in the north, we have Excal with the China Nuke, and he is with the purple color. Always with the purple color. Uh, yeah, we know for sure that um, Scuba would have chosen this map. Um, and although I joke around about it that he always chooses this map, I actually uh, I actually do like it, to be honest. It's probably... Maybe it's not one of my favourite maps currently. Maybe it's something more like Liquid Gold or Snowy Drought is. But actually, in terms of like balance, and I, I love it more than the actual Tournament Desert because you've got this more openness and... There's just more scenarios and more things you can get done. Um, I think at least the bigger battle battles in the middle and China can expand to the middle more. Um, it's probably one of my favorite maps of all time. Maybe not my actual, but it's definitely one of. Scuba going for something very interesting. He is actually going for a Helix. As the China tank player, you don't typically want to do that because not everyone knows that the, the tank licks actually builds five seconds slower than all the other Chinas. Excal has gone for an oil cap and looking like he probably will get two. So that's looking like an absolutely amazing start there for Scuba. Um, sorry, not for Scuba, for Excal, of course. Excal will be very shocked to see an airfield and, and a licks out already. He will be immediately queuing up Gats now. He's actually already queued up one just in case there is a Helix because he hasn't seen anything just yet. So Scuba's going to need to get maximum damage done with that Helix right now. He has got the weaker army here. If Excal gets to Overlords and Nuke Cannons, it's going to be very, very difficult. And it's worth saying that this is actually a Clan Wars game and they're not playing under their usual names. We've got Mental Patient, which has been Scuba's Clan Wars tag and name for many, many years. And Excal playing under the Clan CW. Or clan wars and good game no re see you <laughs> something that you probably would find fargo or shay saying this helix is flying around and he has killed one battle master so far and two oils but those oils have probably already paid for themselves got a battle master chilling here for scuba and he's going for a prop behind this as well needs to move that battle master out of the way Otherwise, he'll give Excal a hell of a lot of XP just from that one kill. I think it's like 200 XP for one tank kill there. Helix took a little tiny bit of damage. I think it was from that. Or maybe it was from that gap. But either way, he needs to go back and repair. Second Helix is being prepared. I'm actually surprised that Excal doesn't have more than he actually does have. Feels like after getting two walls from the very beginning, you would imagine he has more. And I suppose he does have a lot. He's got a prop. He's got two overlords in ECM. I suppose that is a lot. Maybe, maybe I would have expected him to expand to the middle faster. I don't know. So Excal's going to go in and chase this now. Uh, but is that the right thing to do? Because there's two helixes flying around now. But then again, he doesn't know there's two helixes. He only knows about one. Helix is flying on top of this bunker. Do you take out the bunker? There is a gap produced. I think actually hanging around there and fighting that was a good idea. But turning around is a guaranteed death there for one of the helixes. Bit of a trade-off here. Scuba going to come out ultimately on top. Although I think a double vetted Battlemaster did go down there for Scuba. Yeah, that was a pretty poor mistake there, I think, from Scuba. Deciding to turn around when the Gat came out. I think he could have killed it, and I think he even could have killed those two buildings. And those trucks. I think it's a big wasted opportunity. And to rebuild them elixirs is going to be expensive. Very, very expensive. Yeah, this position for the Gats is very dangerous for the Helixes. You have to hug the sides if you're going to go in with the Helixes. Uh, Scuba has gone for quite a lot of ECMs. 
So what he's actually intending to do here is keep producing the helixes. Obviously, he's got the ECMs. He will disable the Gats and ECMs with his own ECMs, with his massive ECM army. And then fly in with helixes and try and level the whole... Uh, the whole army there of Excal. Excal's now making new cannons. This is the kind of situation that you like to see on the tournament desert. Like you wouldn't, you wouldn't have a new cannon in that position. You wouldn't have this expansion going on and collecting money so quickly. And also here, because there's that big ridge on the normal tournament desert. I think yeah, removing that ridge is one of the best things they could do. Uh, to this map. Got three helixes out now. An ECM army is pushing down the left-hand side. Uh, the army of Excal is kind of out of position. There is another new cannon out there. He has disabled that new cannon. It's a big attack here for Scuba. Excal now reacting to it properly, bringing his entire army over. Massive ECM disable going on over here for both players. Helix is going to focus down the war factory. Scuba racking up the XP here. Now going to kill that uh, supply. But he is losing a lot here as well. And even though he's killed a lot of buildings and stuff like that, losing this helix, potentially losing one or two of these battle masters, it's going to give Excal like an equal amount of XP. No matter how much stuff he killed, these, these battle masters do give away a hell of a lot. Helix is flying deeper into the base. Takes out the doze there of Excal that was building the CC. Uh, there is one dozer remaining now for Excal. CC being built for Scuba. He is very close to level 3. Amazingly, he's f further ahead than the nuke in terms of the XP. Don't normally see that, but I think this Helix ECM strat is actually working out pretty decent for him. Just needs to pick off a few more things and he will get to level 3. I think he knows that as well and I think that's what he's doing. Even if he in there just kills a red guard, every little thing you can do to get towards level 3 and you can start firing the artillery and the mines and stuff will be very, very decent. Uh, probably taking like, what, 1,300 if he kills that red guard inside of there. Probably give you like 20 or 23 XP, something like that for a red guard kill. Scuba definitely controlling the game at the moment. Excal just seems to be happy just to play the slow, collect from the middle, bunker with the new cannons, and not give Scuba many options of, of attacking. Gonna lose a uh, truck here. Excal does, so he's getting very, very close now to level 3. Scuba is. Yeah, very, very slow pace from Excal. He's not in any rush to get anything done, is he? He's happy to just kind of sit back. He knows he's selecting for in the middle. He knows the opponent isn't. So the longer the game goes, he's getting all this extra free cash that the opponent is not. But yeah, um, when, he, when Scooby gets level 3, he's not going to get Carpet Bomb. And get that level 5 with Tank. Helix is continuing to try and pick off something. Does take out this bunker, but doesn't take out the RPG inside of it. The tank enter inside of it. That's what he needs to, in order to rack up the XP. And here a new cannon deploying. Just need to be careful near some of these buildings. If you actually fire too close to the building and, and it hits the building, the splash damage will kill your own new cannon. Excal got subliminal messaging. No chain guns. A uh, bit of an attack here from Scuba on the right. <laughs> Excal just <laughs> building more defenses and more new cannons. Flamer comes in, but doesn't achieve an awful lot. Oh, that new cannon shot is going to be painful. Only kills an outpost, though, which he doesn't get any XP from that, but it does leave all of this stuff low. Gal in there is going to get taken out. That's going to take him to level 3. But we've got a massive attack here now from Excal. Support powers are going to be needed here. Is that going to be... Artillery level 2 there is going to be a mine drop. Artillery is coming in. Scal now focusing down the buildings. There's enough ECMs and Battlemasters here, I think, to disable the Gats in order for the Helixes to then come in. Artillery comes in. Hits the War Factory. Kills the truck and the outpost. Scuba moving in with his Battlemasters. Actually choosing to stay away with the Helixes until now, but he's now coming in with Elixirs. 
And actually, this is looking very, very decent for Scuba. Comes in with the helixes. All of the anti-air there has been taken out. And these helixes now should be able to clear up everything with relative ease. Chasing down the army. Doesn't want to let anything escape at all. And then in the back of the base here for Excal. Yeah, it's back of the base is pretty much non-existent. All of that important stuff there has gone down. Artillery now fires for Excal. That's actually going to be down in the bottom right position. Maybe the war factory, maybe the prop. Ooh, no, it actually looks more like somewhere here. Scuba sold a load of stuff. Bit of a risk, that, because then if it hit the prop and you just sold all that stuff, it's like a double hit. Whoa. Lotus has never died so fast in her life. It looks still flying around for Scuba. And Excal is in quite a lot of trouble, really. He's desperately trying to rush over here to establish some kind of a defense against these helixes. Another supply being dropped down by Scuba. Quite a long distance supply. That's two new cannon now for Excal going to set up into guard mode. Going to actually fire. Not actually sure what that killed there. But here comes a mind drop, and that actually is going to stop Excal's units retreating and actually going forward. At least those ones there are all kind of screwed. Those two can still move, but the Helix is now flying on the left-hand side. It's very, very impressive Helix play. Apart from the first wasted Helix, the rest of it has actually been very good. He's got himself a Vet 2 Helix, which is uh, makes it a lot harder to kill. Helix is going to come in and try and pick off the, the new cannon. Does pick it off. Gatlin's a little bit slow there with the defense. They need to be a little bit further forward if they were going to provide some kind of cover for it. Lotus is back in action after being sent into oblivion by the uh, artillery shells a second ago. Be coming in once again with a flamer. Does clear one tank hunter. And he's actually going to kill a hell of a lot of gas there. That's a really bad position there by Excal. Really awful position. He's lost pretty much every single gat apart from that one. He's got one more back here. Lotus now going to capture the CC. Yeah, it's been a very smart play from Scuba. It seems a little bit slow by Excal. Sometimes slow to move his armies into the right place and stuff. Seems like he's a bit on slow mode. But these helixes are just literally flying around, picking off stuff for free here, there, and everywhere. And it's it's resulted in Excal actually not having very much at all. He's got a bunch of tank hunters, a couple of gats, ECM. He's still collecting, but long distance over on this supply. CC so now being rebu rebuilt by uh, Excal. Uh, Skiba working his way towards level 5. Flame are going to come in once again, but our ECM should shut that down this time. Basically, Battle of the Tank Hunters versus the Battle Masters. And yeah, you don't want to be the battle masses in that case. But there is a gap being brought here. A bit of a range bug going on there. He's actually clicked on the Lix back here. Lix is going to come in and actually hunt Excal. So Excal can't make any more, any more stuff. I don't know if this is a fight you want to take. Even with the ECMs, I'm not sure. He doesn't have the autoloader upgrade either. That ECM is going to take some damage. He's still flying around, killing some trucks. But Excal only has one war factory. No trucks now. Although he does have a bit of cash, he could remake some more if he wanted to. Artillery now going to come in, and I think he's done a bit of a demolition job on Excal here. Excal just seemed... seems kind of... He definitely wanted to play this more slow and methodical, but he just seemed a little bit in, stuck in, like, first gear or second gear. A lot of the time, his units were just, like, out of place by... by a little bit. Yeah. Thrown in the towel. GG, well played there to Scuba. Yeah, very, very nice. Despite the the only bit I didn't really like, yeah, was wasting that first helix. I think he could have potentially won maybe a little bit more comfortably if he didn't waste that first helix. 
Um, but yeah, Excalibur just seemed to me like a little bit slow moving his armies around and stuff. Like there was at one point an attack down the left hand side and Excal still had his army over on the right hand side. And like it took him like a good five or ten seconds to actually click and actually defend. It was often like clicking around, but it yeah, just seemed a little bit slow and delayed. But maybe, maybe it was early in the morning, maybe he just woke up or something like that. I don't know. <laughs> but otherwise, Scuba's China, when he's when he's in full form, his China, uh, China mirrors or... Yeah, whereas China mirrors or any kind of China versus China matchup, I think it's one of his uh, one of his strongest for sure. So yeah, well played to Scuba there. Got the win against uh, one of the strongest players or the strongest player, and yeah, it was a Clan Wars game as well. So gets the uh, gets the additional points. So, yeah, GG. Well played, and see you in the next one.